Okay, here we go, y'all. I'm going to try to show you how to make this rail planter box. See, it belongs on a banister on a rail, see? I'm gonna show you how to make it self-watering where you don't have to keep watering it. All right, so, first of all, I made these holes, those two holes. I'm gonna cover them up with, I have two-sided sticky tape on you. I'm gonna cover them up with this here weed block. Then, just foam that came in a packaging from something that I ordered. Don't even remember what it was. But it just so happens to fit perfectly right on that groove there, see? Then I took a regular 12, 12 ounce plastic cup, cut the bottom off, bottom off of it. I'm gonna put it about right there. I took one of those Dollar Tree uh, dishcloth things, one of those disposable rags. I'm gonna stick it inside of the cup. I'm going to stick that there, put that there. This one, this one here. Put that there. It's all nice and even. I'm gonna do the other thing, the uh, the same thing to the other side, except for this time. I'm gonna put the cup down this end. I hope you guys can see this. Um. Oh, I see what I did. Good. That there. Cut there. So what's going to happen is when I put water in here, the water is going to go to the bottom where it's empty at. Right? And it's going to be up under. It's going to go down there. And it's going to just hold there. Okay, then I'm going to put dirt over over the top of this. And the dirt is going to go in the cup. So the reason I put the rag in the cup is because the rag is going to be wet. It's going to soak up the water from the bottom. But the dirt's going to also be inside the cup. So when the rag gets wet, it's going to wet the dirt. This way... The dirt don't get soaking wet at the bottom and turn into must and become um, moldy and stinky at the bottom, okay? And the plants will grow on the top. And there'll probably be a little bit of dirt that goes along the sides, but that's okay. The reason I put these holes here and covered them up is because the whole thing's going to be filled with dirt. And once it's filled with dirt and I water it, if too much water comes into the unit, what will happen is the water will go out through the weed block, keeping the top from flooding with water, keeping the roots of the plants from getting waterlogged. And that's how I make my banister rail pot self-watering. I hope this helps someone. Remember to begin and end each of your days with a grateful heart. God bless.